Are we going to find value inside March of the Machine collector boxes? 401 Games is here to help us out today, so we're about to find out. Hi everyone and welcome back. MTG Moxman here. Thanks again for hanging out with me on the channel today. A big shout out and thank you to 401 Games for allowing me to open so many collector boxes. Guys, we get to go searching now for value inside these products and see really a good cross section of what is going to be inside these boxes. I have a whole series of videos prepared. I'll be putting them out once or twice a week for you guys to all enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comment sections. And of course, guys, a big shout out and thank you to 401 Games. Slam that in the comment section. Show the love, guys. Let's get started and see how creepy or successful these boxes are going to be. Hi everyone and welcome back, MTG Moxman here for March of the Machines and 401 Games is being nice enough to allow the Moxman to open all these so we get to have a great time and check out the madness that is March of the Machines. Let's face it, who knows where these values are going to fall, but we have a lot of chances here for products that are valuable, okay, for cards that are going to hold up on the secondary market. Sometimes you don't know what cards you're going to find at home. Other times, we're just set to go, you know? So we're going to rip into these bad boys, and I'm sure I will get faster at opening these packs than I have in other days and other years. Each time, you get a little bit better, and right now, we're going to have some fun. We're going to find some value in March of the Machines. Maybe a serialized card or two? I mean, we, we, got, we got chances, right? There's good stuff in here. I mean, pff, the set's filled with cards that are going to get played. So let's go here with the first one. All right, here we go, everyone. Now, when you're looking at the value of this, remember, anyone buying, wow, these are stiff. If you're a person who can wait, it is always better to uh, to hang on till later, okay? Always better to hang on and see what comes up later because the values here are just, they're bound to change. They're not going to stay this way. Oh, there we go, Invasion of Ixalan. Hey, Rankle and Torbrand. I mean, that art. That is so much better than the original one I saw when I did the discussion in the video. Dance of Calamity. No, oh, Sisse, sure. Beautiful looking. Okay, we got Radatha. Hey, we got Ray. Oh my God. That thing really. Oh, there we got uh, Emery. This is kind of interesting to see when we take a look at the cards, how many times we get these uh, doubles. Okay, I I'm just going to put all the rares together in a pile, guys. I'll put the uncommons in a pile. There's just, there's too much stuff here to really, because everything's special and nothing special, we are going to have an issue with piles today, I'm sure. So we'll just, we'll get through this. And of course, as we go through these videos, they, uh, they will get faster. A lot of you guys may not have seen these cards in person yet, but um, they are pretty cool looking. The art on these cards has never failed to amaze me. They just look so beautiful. They're very, like, look at that. A furnace gremlin. Remember gremlins? Gremlins were a thing for a long time, guys. Tiller of Flesh. You know, I look at it, and each time I see these new sets come out, I wonder which cards, like the Wayfair, are you going to find a home? Are you going to be the one that is some crazy card inside of a format? Or <laughs> Finn the Fang Bear. And there's so many cards that... Oh, that's a that's not a bad card. Um, hey, there's our first mythic. Urbrask the Hidden. Um, and I'll be honest... Not my favorite artwork, okay? For that particular card, it's like, really? It looks like something I've seen in a public school drawing from my kid's school. Yes, I dropped the cards, 401. I'm sorry. These things are like next to impossible to open. What is with these? Look at this. This must be the ones that they resealed and didn't expect people to ever have to buy. All right, here we go. When we take a look at the future of sealed products, for a lot of players, it's really up in the air about how these products are going to break down, right? How they're going to be finding a home and a value in the future. Teferi's talent. You're so talented. Well, okay, that's that's pretty nice artwork. I got to be honest, that was pretty nice. I mean, I know it's just a reprint and there are still reprints inside the set. I get it. But at the same time, Look, what is with these packs? Is there a... I don't see a sleeve ending. I almost feel like I need scissors. Is anyone else having this issue with these packs? Please comment below. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I I ripped in at my pre-release with that thing. I'll tell you that now. That card was awesome. All right, there we go. Down commons. Okay, that's that's a pretty cool land. I'll be honest. That kind of reminds me of Tron a little bit for some reason. Oh, we got Rona. Sure. Dra oh, Drana. Heliod. No, Hel sorry, sorry, Daxos. I can look at the art and said Heliod. We got Yargle. Oh, we got Glissa. Sure. It is beautiful. And, oh, Purveyor. Per that's a good card. I remember that with, um, what do you call it? With Shieldred. That thing had a massive spike. And that's probably why they're reprinting it so much from Kamigawa now. Right, it's from the Kamigawa block, I'm sure. I'm 90% sure. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. More commons. I mean, I remember when uncommons used to have... Oh, there we go. This was the highest selling card this week on the Hot 10. People decided that was worthy of buying. A lot of the values of these cards, though, are really going to shift. And players need to be aware of that. That not all these cards are going to be expensive. If you can wait and see where the values fall, if you can hang in there long enough, you usually make out, you usually make out pretty good. If you just can wait long enough for the prices to fall. Because a lot of these cards... They do take, seriously, everything is so slippery, guys. These take time. Sometimes for the home to be found in some of these packs and which cards will actually be used versus which ones are just kind of janky fun and people want to kick back a little bit and have a, a silly deck on the side. But Uncommons used to hold, oh, there we go, used to hold a lot of value. Another Mythic. And now they just don't, they don't see, <laughs> there you go, Sharknado, remember that? There's the Herald. No uncommons. Like he, there, another tribute. There we go. I mean, it's a pretty card. Squee the Immortal. Sure, why not Squee? We like you, buddy. You can you can hang in there. So we're on the second half of this first box. I think I got the knack down on slamming into these things, and that is when you when you take a look at the cards in the future, and you decide if you want to buy a box or buy singles right? The cards always stay so spiked up in price during that first little, hey, Heliod. There's the real Heliod, see? There's another mythic, although it is a commander mythic. Daxos again. Bege uh, begin the invasion. I gotta be honest, I like the artwork. Oh, well, that's pretty cool looking too. Brow, Chief of Compass. I mean, guys, that artwork, I don't know, I'm gonna, let me see if I can show you guys that clearer. The, see the foiling there? That halo foil, like that is pretty cool, man. I gotta be. I don't think. I don't think it'll show up nicely in a sleeve for those of you guys in a sleeve. But when you look at that thing, does that show? Like that is gorgeous looking. Okay, gorgeous. I just. I mean, wow. That is nice. That is a nice looking card, guys. I should have pinched that side, and I almost got so distracted that I forgot. There we go. There we go. Bring it on the joy. So before you dive in. Make sure you know the cards you want. Write them down. I always say write them down. Because then when you start looking for them. And you look at the prices you first saw them at. I always write that down as well. Then I have a better chance of determining. If it's worth it. Kruga. Oh the monk token. Right then you can decide. If that thing was actually worth. Buying the product. Or is it better just to wait. And wait and wait. For things to rotate out. Because there are times I've had to wait. Until a section rotates out. Before the card dips a little bit. Because I'm just not willing to pay for something like that. That I know will get reprinted. But for some players they got to have it now. They're not uh, They're not really big on waiting. Oh, oh, oh hold on was that two cards? That was weird. Oh there we go. It was just like really stuck together there. I hit a Sagu. See some of the art. Oh there we go. The Blight Drag. I mean. Even that one there. Oh, sorry, I'm off center there. When I look at the Blight Dragon here, that art for this particular image, it reminds me of Aliens. It is not um, a grabber for me. So I will count up the Mythics at the end, guys, but I'm not going to go over value too much because a lot of these values are going to shift so greatly in the next, like, what, 40, 60 days as people try to really brew with this stuff and see what they can come up with. And a few cards, I'm sure. And there we go, the Sword of Once Future. Right? That is cool. Finally, we're getting more swords, man. And you know, I, I keep forgetting too. 
you really have to pay attention because there are the serialized cards in here somewhere, I, I believe, right? I'm sure of it. I'm sure I read that somewhere. With all the variants and all these different foilings, I'm afraid I'm going to miss something as I look here at the camera and at the side screen. You never know. But I know a lot of players out there are still sticking to the singles only market. They're like, you know what? Forget the Wayfair. I, I'm sticking to singles. Oh, there we go. Omnath Locus of all. And it, it's only a rare. Isn't that crazy? It's only a rare. Dark Steel Splicer. Rata. Renata. <laughs> Pergen. Oh, 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 oh. See, like, some of these things are like sticking. I mean, there's the aisle. Does that grab you guys? Oh, there we go. That one there for me, not that great. All right, the last pack of our first box. Yeah, see this one? Gotta be able to speed this bad boy up. But you know what? Right now, I'm enjoying looking at the cards, guys. I can't help myself. Of course, I looked them all up ahead of time. And I did look up preliminary values to see where things were kind of at. See which cards would be the slightly more expensive cards to be hunting down. But... For this kind of set, you just know the price you're going to shift, so it's not as important as you might believe. A oh, there we go. Look at that bad boy of comedy. Atraxia in that... I mean, the gilded foiling is kind of cool. This is not the full art gilded, though. It just has the framework of it. It's still pretty cool. Very cool card. Now, for Mythic-wise in the first box, we got one, two, three... Oh, oh we got a stick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Mythics first box. Now we're on to the second... And I will try to stick to these piles, I think. I think they're working for us today. Man, you really have to pinch. Guys, if you're finding these packs sticky, just stick it to that side there. You'll get there. You will get there. All right. Let's get the commons out of the way. Uncommon, the land. Monastery Mentor. Man, remember that from the cons block? That was like a, like a be-all, end-all card. Now it's kind of like, oh, wait. New pile for that one. New pile. Used to be like a be all end all. Now it's just kind of, it's just another card. Used to be a game ending beast of a card. Now it's just part of the pile. Oh, the <laughs> mini mocks thought this was like an amazing card. He really liked that brooding guy. Oh, the corpse born. I kind of like that artwork as well. That that framework is, guys, what do you think of that? That is, I don't know, I like that one. That's a good looking mythic, man. I like that. I know some cards just grab you, right? Like, everyone's got their own art appeal, art style. I think that's why Wizards really likes changing this up. They like to give us a lot of chances for what they have as perceived value. I don't consider new artwork any better, unless they say they're never going to reprint it again. And let's face it, they're going to reprint it. They're not going to say that they're not going to. Oh, the Piercers. See, that's good looking art, too. Some of the new art does look very nice, but it doesn't mean I'm willing to pay a premium price to get it. Art is still just art. And yes, they paid an artist to do it. But unless they're putting some kind of guarantee on the box. Was that from Tommy Boy? The guarantee is on the box. Here we go. Okay. Aral and Zev. Yeah, sure. Why not? I used that in my pre-release. But I didn't end up actually putting the deck together. No, I mean, that art is kind of cool as well. But it looks too simplistic. But it's cool to... Oh, look at that. Okay, hold on. Let's see, we get, let's see if we can get a good look at that. The Claw of Progress. Look at that. That that halo kind of foiling. I got to be honest, guys. It looks really good in person. I'm not sure how that's going to play out later. But for the moment, wow. And guys, 401, helping out the Mox Man here. Allow me to open these on the channel. Fantastic. Very cool of them. So thanks again to 401 Games here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. You gotta, gotta show up for the store. They're being nice and let me do this stuff, man. Oh, there we go. Sheoldred. Oh, look at that. That is, I mean, again, that shoulder does not do it for me in the tent in the sense of the artwork. Oh, oh. See, what is that? And another mythic behind it. Broomeraz. Some of that stuff you're like, but that shoulder is nice looking, but not to me game ending. It's just kind of like, eh, that art doesn't do it. Like the card, not a huge fan of that art. And some cards, it really does suit it. Just not for me this time. Come on, we can do it. We can open that pack. What is with this glue? This one like totally tore on the side and stuff. Wow. Yeah, this is a super professional channel and uh, we're sponsored by Nike. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Would Nike sponsor this kind of channel? Yeah, no, I'm getting off topic. I can't help myself. 
sometimes you just think silly things. Rare, rare, rare. I mean, when I look at... Oh, see, that's kind of cool, too. Like, that's not the... Obviously, it's just uncommon. But I like the look of it. So many cards, I think, like these multiverse ones and stuff. I don't know. Some I think should have been here. Others, I'm like, really? Doesn't matter to me in the slightest because I already own them. All the companion cards, I opened up so much Ikoria. I do not need them reprinted ever. I would still have so much available that I wouldn't have to worry about it. Hey, Ozaloth. Shattered Spire. It's like we've gone on a drought now for like half the box. What is with this again? See this one here? Like, I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm sure you guys are having the exact same issues. These packs seem like they're super glued. Oh, we're going the right way this time. They were not letting go. Like, the um, the battle cards, by the way, I used them in my pre-release. I don't know how much gameplay those are going to see in the long run, but it's still kind of cool to just play with them a bit. Down the dawn. Like, look at that. we still got no mythics. We're, we're mythic light on this one, man. Oh, this one opened, right? Crazy. I look at it and just say, if they could give us a few more cards that are going to have greater value and hold some value in the long market. 7-7 seven, seven Dinosaur. It's kind of cool seeing the dinosaurs come back, but it's like a repl Blade of the Soul Awakener. Okay, so there's two Mythics in this. I mean, one's a Commander. I get it, but still. Two Mythic pack. I think these are what? Here in Canada, I think these packs are like 30, 35 bucks a pack? Which is not like the end of the world if you're a person who can afford to to delve into it a bit and have some fun. But I can see how a lot of people out there are just like, I'm not paying for it, man. I'm not taking the chance. I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy these on the secondary market. Oh, there we go, the fairy mastermind. And the perverted truth again. Oh, we got Ragavan the first mate, but he's not who we're looking for. But still he's a token. He's cool token. Right? Alright, we're done the last couple of packs in this first video, guys. And I gotta say, the packs are impossible to open. I'm enjoying doing it still. I'm loving the artwork. I mean, I won't know how the foiling really pans out till later to see if any of this foiling sticks. Or if we start seeing everything curl up again. Rare, rare. Uh, there's Yargle, eating everything away. Not affected by oil, apparently. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool, man. Like, I don't know, that that there for some reason? Congo, like that, I don't know, I kind of like that one. And then, uh, this just looks wicked. It's that foiling style, I'm telling you. Some of them look so nice. They just catch my eye, and I realize ah, there's so many channels out there that box open. Chance of me getting tons of views on this are low, but I still have so much fun doing it. I can't help myself. You gotta be a player, man. You gotta enjoy the game, have some fun, and just, oh, nice, another sword. Okay, that's good. I like pulling the second sword. Uh, Rankle, sure, we saw Rankle earlier. And then we got another Mythic. Then we got Finn, Renata. Oh, we got Eleanor and Azor. And then we got Emery again, and okay. Now we're on to the last pack. We're gonna see how many Mythics we got on this one. Oh, so that pack opened beautifully. Why can't they all open like that? There we go. I mean, for the uncommons, it's probably how many I skip, I just go, eh. Oh, there we go. Invasion of New Phyrexia. That was a cool one because it comes with Teferi on the other side. Remember that? Some of these cards are so beautiful. All right. Oh, okay. We got Thalia and the Gigatog Monster. And we got just a regular rare there. Freezing time. Sure. And we got Squee. Okay. Guys, that's the end of the first box on this last one here. How many Mythics we end up with? Pure Mythic Light for a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, ten, 11. 11 Mythics in that second box, man. Thanks again to 401 Games, guys. I will see you soon. This is the Mox Man, and this was a lot of fun. March of the Machines, kind of like March of Madness. Let's see what happens next video. All right, guys, we're at the credits, and thanks again to each and every one of the fantastic patrons I have on my channel supporting my content creation each and every day. You know what, guys? It's a great time to be here. Thanks again. Patrons rock. Hey, you guys made it to the end of the video, and you're expecting an amazing after credit. 
but there's not. Have a great one.